Welcome to my platform. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your location or anytime you are meeting this video on YouTube. And if you like what I do here, please, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notifications so that you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, we react to all forms of video, what we do before putting the video, analyze it, and we sit down there to watch it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion, but let us always do it constructively in the comment section. Like you can see, this is my t-shirt, this is my merchandise. If you like this t-shirt, uh, matters arising from the court and then a message to Biafrans on a way forward. You see, what I am going to do today is something that uh, is something that uh, long overdue, long overdue. I waited and waited and waited and waited for the leadership to address Biafrans and I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So uh, it is part of it. It is part of it. We know it is a, this is a very difficult time, very critical time. But somebody have to do it. Somebody have to do something. Now, what I want to do now is to explain to Biafra people, explain to IPOB worldwide, explain to indigenous people of Biafra exactly what is going on and what is needed to be done in this time. If you think that you are going to beg your way out of this mess. You are making a very big mistake. If you think you can manipulate your way out of this mess, you are making a very big mistake, furthering the mistake of the past. The only way out of this particular mess is to step up and they come up with a decisive decision with immediate effect. There is no time to waste. There is a serious mess. A serious mess. And that mess is what I have come to address today. Now, I will not go into reading press statement, press release from both sides. I am not going to do that. I have read the, the press statement of, of uh, the elders, the Ezes and Ozos, our elders, the governors of the Southeast. I have read their statement on this program and I'm not going back to read it again. I have also read the press statement when the seat at home, when the no election in Anambra State was cancelled, I read the press statement. So I am not going to read that press statement again from the, uh, the spokesman of the indigenous people of Biafra. I am not going to read the statement again. I have come today to put culpability where culpability is. Remember what I have come to do here is to profess solution and suggest a way forward. A way forward. Because I am a solution-based thinker. I am not just a, uh, I'm not just a somebody who talk. I prefer solution. I have come to prefer solution. So if you care to listen, those of you who want Biafra, Take every single thing I am going to say today very, very seriously. 
for those of you who really who really yell for Biafra, you yearn for Biafra, take what I'm going to say today, everything I'm going to do today, take it very, very seriously. And don't look face. So I'm calling on all Biafrans to make sure that everything I'm going to say today, they take account of it. Because I have come with solutions, a way forward. You know, one thing about people, one thing about our people, one thing about some agitators is that they always talk. One thing about Nigeria is that Nigeria problem is no solution to anything. They always talk. They always blame. They always criticize people. They always criticize leaders. They never prefer solution. And thereby, problem everywhere. Nobody has ever in Nigeria, they don't prefer solution. They criticize only. So in, the, in Biafra, we are not going to do be like that. We are not going to do what they are doing in Nigeria. We will criticize and we will bring solution. Now, first of all, I want to I want to thank the legal team. I want to thank the legal team of Mazen Amdekano. I want to thank the legal team. It is not easy. I want to thank Barrister Ejiofo. I want to thank him. It is not easy. <laughs> it is not easy. We must remember that Barrister Ejiofo life is in serious danger. Serious danger. There has been several attempts to kill Barista Ejofo. His home was invented twice. People were killed both times. The first time they invented his house, people were killed. People, not, not individual, people. People were killed. When you talk about people being killed, it means that more than two persons. The second attempt, somebody was killed. His PA was not just killed. He was burned inside a car. That is the DSS and Nigeria military. Joint tax force. They killed his PA. Let me remind you today that Barista Ejo 4 is still in Nigeria in the midst of this evil and murderous security agencies in Abuja. I want you to have that in your mind. They are still looking for him, but they will not succeed. Barista age of four status has gone beyond just an attorney for IPUB. I want all of you to understand and put this thing I just said now into your head as we proceed to today's teaching. Because as Barista Ejofo is defending Mazinam Dikano, he is also paying price for defending him. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, he is the only attorney that has paid that price and still standing in this trial. I don't know if there is another person we know that one of the attorney of IPOB mother was killed. His mother was assassinated sometime. I do not know whether he is part of this team, but at least 
the people, most of all the attorneys in this particular case now, defending Mazen Amdikano, Barrister Ejo 4 has paid ultimate price. Then Barrister Aloy Ejimako is also a very brilliant, very brilliant attorney. I must thank him because it is not easy. But be friends, we have seen several times we have seen Mazin Namdekano in court twice. We are supposed to see him three times we ended up seeing him twice since he was abducted. Why I am doing this particular video today and this exposition today and this teaching today is that it has become imperative for me to do. The message is here. When I looked at Mazin Namdekano in the last court, I feel broken. My heart was broken. I don't know how you feel. I don't know what you felt. What I'm telling you now has nothing to do with the fact that the case was adjourned. No. I saw Mazin Namdekano, my heart was broken. I didn't believe it. Well, let me tell you. What you saw on the 10th of November in Abuja was a leader that is very disappointed. Very disappointed. He is not uh, disappointed because he is in DSS dungeon. He is net disappointed because he is in detention. He is disappointed because he left fools. He left fools behind. He left fools. I said fools as far as I'm concerned. Mazin Amdekano was disappointed. I see that disappointment written all over him. Forget all these things you see. Forget it. I saw Mazin Namdekano disappointed. Welcome back. I hope uh, I hope my sound is coming out. My voice is coming out. 
Now, the reason why I am making this video today is that I am going to profess solution here. The solution may not be, uh, you know, may not be the thing that is going to solve the whole thing, but it is going to be very effective solution. At least a step forward. I saw Mazin Namdi Kano disappointed. Now, first of all, I must also register my own disappointment so far. I want you to, every video I have made from the day Mazin Namdi Kano was, uh, 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 appeared in Nigeria, I want people to take documentary of it. Document it. They are in the internet. Document it. Because you are going to make reference to all the videos and brokers I have made. And if you are working with Mazin Namdekano for 10 years, like some of you claim, and you did not see that disappointment in him, then you are not worthy. You are not worthy to pronounce that you work with him for 10 years. Now, I want to make my own disappointment public today. I am disappointed that Mazin Namdi Kano could not be provided with cloth. I am disappointed. And I want, I want, as I'm saying these things, the people that are in position to make changes to take note. I am not happy. I am very, very disappointed that Mazin Namdi Kano could not be provided with clothes. It is an insult. It is an insult on the people of Biafra, of which me, I am part of. Very big insult. Mazin Namdi Kano appeared in court for the very first time in Nigeria without the presence of the council His head was covered. He appeared on Fendi, on white Fendi cloth. We saw pictures coming out from Kenya. All the way from Kenya, Mazin Namdi Kano was in handcuffed, was handcuffed, tortured for eight days. He was wearing Fendi cloth. He was extraordinarily renditioned to Nigeria through criminal conspiracies, kidnapping of a state called Nigeria. Mazin Amdikano came to court, the first one, without the knowledge of the lawyers. He appeared in court the second time with full knowledge of the lawyers. He appeared in court the third time with full knowledge of everybody. And he still appeared in the same court. It's a disappointment. I am disappointed. Let me tell you, it may mean nothing to you. It may mean nothing to you. 
psychologically is a message from the Nigeria state. And if it is a choice, if it is a choice of Mazenam the Kano, then he need to be he need to be advised. We don't want to see him in that same Fendi again. Let us make more Fendi cloth available to our leader. Black, yellow, red Fendi, green Fendi, white and black Fendi. Make it available to him. I believe that uh, the, DS, the DSS cannot deny the right of our leader to change cloth. Even if they are washing it every day. So, between now to the next, whatever, whenever our leader is going to appear anywhere, let there be a change in that cloth. Because, let me tell you, it is what we called a psychological welfare, and we cannot accept it. If he refused, convince him. Tell him there is a reason for that. And if they refuse him to change his cloth, that is a complete violation, another violation of his right. And if it requires a new application to court, Asking Nigeria court, if it is going to be a, 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 a requirement that we are going to file a new application separately, file it and make it public. Let us file the application requesting separately for Mazinam the Kano to be given plot to change. That psychological welfare cannot hold water in where in the struggle where I am part of. It cannot. It can't hold water. We need to be changing the cloth every day. That is number one. I don't need to go into explanation to tell you what kind of psychological welfare I am talking about. But those that are in position to make this happen should do more research about that. Even a prison warder, even a, pris a prisoner, somebody who is in prison, have their, they have their uniform. We will know that you are in prison. For that reason, you are appearing in your uniform and you are in prison. Even when Mazin Namdekano was in prison, he came different, he came to, to the court with class. Did you, did you not see videos of Mazin Amdikan? Eh? From 2015 to 2017, were you not, uh, were you not there? Did you not see Mazin Amdikan appear as in court? Now, we are from people IPOB worldwide demand immediate change. Imagine them the kind of cloth. If he say he must be wearing Fendi cloth, make Fendi available. Make it available in different colors. Make it available in different colors. Let me tell you, if in any day Mazin the Kano is appearing in court and we see him. We see him in this same cloth without any justification. I will wage war myself against everybody that have contact with him. Because I know the reason why this must be done. The psychological trauma and psychological war being waged against Mazen Namdekano, even if it was him that said, don't worry, 
I don't want to wear another cloth. No. No. In fact, he is not even in the right place to decide at this point. We, the people he left behind, we are thinking differently. We are not in captivity. We are free men. Our mentality and thinking is still very, very intact. We are not under stress. We are not under duress. We are not on in incarceration. So if he say he don't need another cloth, tell him we are deciding this one for him. We want to defeat them on that mental welfare. It is not going to work. Convince him. Tell him that we are concerned and we want him to change the cloth. We want to be seeing different cloth on him. And if you, if this did not happen, I hope I am speaking the mind of Biafra because Biafra is a spirit. I know a lot of you did not notice, did not take notice of this. It is not just about taking notice, but it is about psychological welfare. Now, if this did not happen and we did not hear the reason, I will personally know that something is wrong. And I will wage war into making more reason. I will go deeper for people to understand the reason why it must be done, that our leader must be given the right that is, you know, it is his right to change cloth. We know that January is too far. But we never can tell. You never can tell whether he's going to appear anywhere. Nobody can tell. So make it available as soon as possible. That's number one. Number two. For those of you who followed the court proceeding, what transpired in the court that day? For those of you who followed what transpired in the court, I remember when he was exchanging words when he was exchanging word with the DSS officer in courtroom. In fact, I want to put that video because it is very important that I do this. Once and for all, let me bring the video of our leader in court exchanging word with the DSS. Whose is it? Whose responsibility is it? Why? I'm asking you who's in the I have a right. I have a right. I have a right. Now, there is this difference between WADA and in investigation or when you are in, in a investigation detention. There is difference between staying and confronting prison WADA than confronting the DSS criminals. I want you to take a look at this video in the court. What happened there? Now you can relate it to what is happening behind the scene. You can use this video to judge 
what is happening behind the scene. I am going to be using code language and hope they will understand me. So what you see on this video is example of what is happening behind the scene in DSS Dungeon. So if they can treat our leader this way in the court of law, inside courtroom, where cameras are, where people are watching, if they can try to talk down on our leader like this, you can imagine what they do behind the scene. That is why I was heartbroken. The time has come where you will look inside your yourself, look, check your mind, check your conscience, and make a decision that you believe should be for the best interest of Mazin Ambikano and Biafra. Not until we take the bull by its horn, you all will live to regret ever dining with the devil. And let me also be talking in parable. Because when you come to say you have gone this line before, you have followed this road before, you are a mistake. You have not followed this road before. This particular road of abducting, kidnapping, and sent to Nigeria, you did not follow it before. It was not what 2015. It was not what you followed from 2015 to 2017. So why will you be coming online, coming on air, to just talk rubbish? Because I am angry. So you talk rubbish. Saying it has happened before. And this is how you handle it. It didn't happen before. So what I want to correct this evening is the impression that you want to handle this particular incident, the kidnap of Mazin Namdekanu, the way you handled it in 2015, in 2016, in 2017. You can't handle it that way. You can't. Don't make us become rebel in this struggle because we are going to be. If that is what it takes. If becoming rebel is what is going to take to make sure our voice are heard in different way, we will be. So the point I want to make, the second or third point I want to make is that don't ever come to tell us that you have gone through this way before. You didn't. Don't come to tell Biafrans that Mazin Namdekano have gone through this way before. He did it. This is a new way. And a new way requires a new strategy. And what you have to do is to identify the new strategy you are going to use in this new way. As having a messed up. Completely flopped. What I have seen so far is not just a disappointment, but a heartbreaking. There is a possibility to make an amendment. I am going to disappoint so many Biafrans this night. What I am going to do here will disappoint you in a very way. Now, I said, 
when you look and watch that video, you will understand what Mazen Namdekano is going through. So, some of the decisions you need to understand that he is saying a different thing. Where he is hard disappointed in the people he left behind. And today, all you do is to chase rat. Why the house is on fire? I said before, one thing you must not do is to give your enemy impression that you have something very dear to you and you don't want to lose it. Once you do that, you have created room and opened the door of hellfire and your enemy will be giving you hellfire. And the leadership are opening that door to the enemy. Forget all this, whatever you are, forget it. We are being realistic. And you know, most, you know, all these things is not something I'm going to do privately. No. No, 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 no. You are the door to the enemy. You understand what I'm saying today, but in few weeks to come, in few months to come, you are going to understand. Except has gone beyond the scene or behind the scene that needed to, that we don't need, we don't know. And that uh, is, we don't need to know. It's a different thing. But let me tell you, I want you to search your conscience, search your soul, and look at the condition of Onyendu today and tell me that some of the things you are implementing is actually sensible. Thank you so much for watching this video together with me. Like I said before, if it is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel and you like what I do, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video, leave your comment in the comment section. You are free to criticize, but let us do it always constructively. Remain blessed. I appreciate your massive support and I love and cherish each and every one of you. Until I meet you again in my next video for now, we say bye-bye.